both have the gloves. Crowd already excited. They have big faith in the debut of this young man, Florin. Sneaky knee there. It was very sneaky indeed, and I know almost nothing about Florin. I've been asking around. I've been told he is the next MMA superstar of Romania. Ooh, nice judo throw there. And he just got taken down onto his back in quite a bad way. Guzvan certainly in control so far. He's got his back. Guzvan fancying himself as a wrestler. Florian fancying himself as a kickboxer. He has to watch out for the rear naked choke here. Trying to reverse it. He's got himself back up to full guard, which is a much better position for Florian to be in. Much better. Now from years and years. And once again, his back is taken. Years and years of commentating RXF, I know full well. If the referee doesn't see any action, he'll stand them up. So, Guzvan probably knows that. Taking care to keep busy, but not too many of his strikes seem so effective just yet. Trying to lock his legs in and get his arm around the neck to go for the choke. That's what his aim is. It's a perfect tactic in this position. here. Florin trying to get back to his feet, but he has to make sure he doesn't give his neck up in the process. They need to find whoever in the crowd has that air horn they're sounding. I mean, is that not the same horn that sounded at the end of a round? Chain transitioning to the arm lock here. I saw the transition from the back in there. He's going to... Florin has his arms locked together. He's not now, looking to give up that right arm. Guzvan's going to try and put one of his legs or his knee in between the two arms and yank one of them free. Damn, Guzvan can crank. The crowd still very much supporting Florin. Yeah, they have a lot of faith. And I heard he was very capable. He is proving himself to be. We will see if age and experience can beat youth and talent. With his arm free, trying to pass the guard. And he charged like a bull as soon as he got out. Full mount. That's, this is the position Every MMA fighter dreams of being in. Yeah. Trying to push the head down so we can strike. Still one minute and a half. Left of the round, plenty enough time to get the finish. If he could just break the guard. Guzvan looking, locking his arms behind his opponent. <laughs> Transitions, goes for the armbar, and it simply did not work out there, did it, Andy? Uh, he went for it. Just a bit slow, now he's got the heel. Both got each other's heels, go for heel locks here. He'll lock in. He slips free. Final 30 seconds. Of the first round. You know, RXF. Because they always, always enlist capable, strong in their safe fighters. There are a lot of stoppages. It'd be good to see some fights go the full three rounds. We will see if this one goes into the second.
that is it for me. A very balanced round, Andrew. Florence Corner calling for Kombinazzi. You don't need to speak Romanian very well to understand what that means. Beginning of the second, both men charge at each other and lock arms. And a big right hand over Cohen behind the ear and wobbled Peter Gosvan. Yeah, Gosvan certainly got hurt by that shot for the leg. Absolutely, and Florin saw it. And Gosvan surviving very well. A second punch wobbled him further. He dropped to his knees, but managed to grab hold of Florin on his way down. But he looks in a bit of trouble if... Florence Corner looking furious. And that's what I mean. Peter's age and experience in the cage. He's taken big shots before. He knows how to get out of them. And here he is in a position of control. One minute into the second round. Looks like Florin is slowly. He's trying to move his legs up to go for a triangle and armbar, but it's not working out. Exactly. So. It wasn't working out. Looking at his corner for advice. Florin has power. They were locked arms. He didn't have much room to land that big hook. But just behind the ear, he caught Peter. And he was wobbled. Austin for position here. It doesn't look like Florin on the bottom right now. That's it. I was about to say, it doesn't look like he's trying to escape. It looks like he's yep. going for a submission. Locked it in. I was just about to say. But it depends on the strength of Peter's right arm. If Peter's arm is in there too, can he lift his shoulder? Gives a thumbs up to the referee. Another thumbs up to let the ref know that he's okay, as I said. This is all on the strength of Peter's right shoulder at this very moment. Yeah, the arm in there is, is what... <clears throat> he keeps giving the thumb up to the ref, let the ref know he's okay. Yep. If the ref thinks she's passed out for half a second, that will be it. Once again, another thumbs up. And I think the ref by now knows that Florin hasn't got anything in too solid. Submission didn't work, and the problem is with submission sometimes you can, you can lose a lot more energy than you want to lose trying to make a losing submission work. A big portion of the crowd quite literally on their feet when he, when he made that relatively, relatively minor turnaround. But he's got his fans with him. I think it does help slightly. Power shot. I mean, certainly this round is now going to Florin after his earlier success with the striking and uh, his control while on the ground. He's slowly unweaving the balance in the judges' scorecards, in my humble opinion. Yeah. 
Ten seconds left of the round. And it looks like Andrew. This is going to go to the third and final. With the bell being called now. And we move into the third and final. Not a regular occurrence here on RXF. Now, Florin had some very good success earlier on in the second with his hands and his strikes. And I think he's trying more of the same. Peter trying to tie him up. It does look, doesn't look like those guys wants to strike. He wants to try and win by submission. Let's we'll see if Florin can land those decisive strikes once again, or if Peter's going to manage to take it back to the ground. seems hell-bent on a submission you know as a striker Peter Gusvan a very annoying man to fight you try to throw your punches every arm you slip every punch you miss he's got you he's holding on trying to drag you down to the floor Lauren, albeit his earlier success in the round, looks very tired now. Happy to just lay there, but this fight is nowhere near a full-gone conclusion. And once again, the ankle lock attempt. That goes down. Lauren just managing to slip out of that one. Aiming for full mount and not quite getting there. Yeah, he's trying to get full mount for the for the ground and pound. Guzvan's keeping his left leg in the air or close to his opponent's leg, trying to prevent him from stepping over. If I were Florin, I'd be left if, leg. If I were Florin, I'd be more preoccupied with standing up. I mean, he was in full mount for a good two or three minutes, and Guzvan knows how to survive. His age and his cage experience certainly doing. In a great deal of good. And here we go. Another submission attempt. Let's see if we're going to get more of Peter Guzvald's thumbs ups. Changing position, trying to avoid his opponent's legs. I think Florin very much in control of this round. But the finish proving excessively hard to get against the experience of Peter Guzvan. Just 40 seconds left 
That one in the third and final round of this matchup, Andrew. Now, I am not a judge. It's not my place to say. But I think Florin has done the better of the work in the last two rounds. He does look very tired, though. But who can blame him? Oh, nice. Very move. nice deep to the face. Counted with a nice uppercut, but I still think the cleaner and the harder work coming from Florin. Ten seconds left. This is going to go the distance. And uh, on a very rare occasion, the RXF judges have a job to do. Whoa! 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 